Hello, I'm Philip Duncan with your global weather extremes for Monday, and we start off with Hurricane Larry. This is the next hurricane that's formed out in the Atlantic Ocean. It has got quite close to land, but it is likely to make a curve and start to move northwards. There's Bermuda right there, and it is likely to make a very close run next to Bermuda. So we are going to have a couple of extra maps and some more details about Hurricane Larry. But before we do that, we'll get into a bit more of the global extremes that are going on at the moment. So we just showed you Larry, that's the biggest low pressure system in the Northern Hemisphere. Well, at the moment, the largest area of low pressure in the Southern Hemisphere is south of Australia, two big lows down here. In fact, this storm, has winds of 120 kilometers an hour or around about 75 miles per hour and that's just out at sea. So that's quite a nasty system and it's about to move into the New Zealand area with a stormy change coming through for Tuesday and Wednesday this week. As we move around and going now to take a look at high pressure, the largest high pressure zone in the northern hemisphere is out here over Europe and parts of the UK. So we're certainly seeing warmer weather as that high has moved through because if you'll remember last week, high pressure north of the UK feeding down a colder northerly Temperatures have changed now and you're getting airflows coming out of Europe into the UK. So London's got temperatures getting up towards 30 degrees into the late 20s anyway. Paris will be probably breaking that 30 degree mark. And because you've got high pressure, it's mostly dry as well over a large portion of Europe at the moment. And in the southern hemisphere, the largest high pressure system, again, we're back to Australia, a huge area of high pressure. It's around about the same size as Australia is, which is 4,000 kilometers across. This high is likely to get up to about 6,000 kilometers across, which is absolutely huge, but also quite normal for this time of the year. Taking a look at the temperatures now, and I just mentioned that warmer south easterly that's moving into parts of the United Kingdom so your temperatures are well up to where they were a week ago when they were only in the late teens now the late 20s possibly 30 and going into the 30s as you go into France and into the mid 30s once you get into Spain and even hotter parts of Algeria getting up into the mid 40s 45 degrees Celsius or 113 113 Fahrenheit and it's also very hot across the Arabian desert at the moment. Out across parts of Asia certainly a cool down through here we're seeing some pretty heavy snow and some heavy rain around parts of China. As we take a look now at North America we're certainly seeing more of that hot weather since Ida came through. Now that Ida has cleared away the hot airflow out of the Gulf of Mexico still coming in and all the way up to the Yukon in Canada. Places in the Northwest Territories, places like um, Yellowknife uh, are getting some of that hot weather coming through. They'll be enjoying that at the moment, but cooler on the other side, got snow flurries in the mountains around Anchorage at the moment. So let's take a closer look at Hurricane Larry. So it started off over here, very close to Africa, blown up into a Category 3 hurricane at the moment. Now, very hard to see, but there's a dot just there. That is Bermuda. So the system is going to get very close to Bermuda, but the good news is it turns away from all of these populated places. So it's likely to be moving to the north. Here is a closer up look. Bermuda, the land is just under the M. So this is very close for them. Um, and just like vehicles, you know, when you're driving a little bit fast around the corner, you start to feel the car sliding. Same story with these storms. They do these sharp turns and they sometimes start to slide further and further out. So I would say Bermuda is in the risk zone for this system over the next couple of days as I mean, category two, that's pretty severe for a hurricane as it tracks by that area. And here is the spaghetti modeling suggesting where Larry is likely to go. Fairly consistent here. It may just brush St. John's in Canada. And then the leftovers may well end up as an extra tropical storm, the usual sort of stuff up there around Iceland, maybe even coming into Sweden later on as a bit of a rainmaker and windmaker. So that is Larry. Let's take a look now at the current thunderstorms, the areas with green dots. When we recorded this video, which was Sunday night American time and Monday morning towards lunchtime, in New Zealand, the areas with the green circles indicate some severe storms. So certainly in the southwest, you've got some big storms in that area. Also, uh, a couple of big storms around Florida. 
and Cuba, Cuba as well, uh, covered in thunderstorms. You can't even see it. <laughs> Same as Puerto Rico. So we're certainly seeing a lot of thundery activity at the moment in that area. Very normal with all that humidity left over from Ida. It's not surprising. OK, moving along now into parts of Europe, not much in the way of thunder activity, mostly dry because of that big zone of high pressure in the area. A few thunderstorms down around Morocco and northern parts of Algeria and surprisingly quiet as well over a large portion of Asia at the moment. It is raining in this area, but without the heat, it's not necessarily sparking into those big thunderstorms that we have been seeing over the recent weeks. So taking a look at some of the biggest rainfall for Monday across the planet. And like I just said, some very heavy falls through inland parts of China and also moving into Korea as that rain moves through from the west it'll be very welcome in some very dry parts japan's got more downpours so does india as well as the normal wet weather for this time of the year continues on in the southern hemisphere it's the south island of new zealand that's got some heavy rain coming through for the mountains there could be over 200 millimeters of rain over the next four or five days as a winter storm really comes through and that will turn to snow with about a meter of snow falling along the tops of the southern alps not great news for farmers with lambing season just beginning and as we move around to the americas you can certainly see a bit of rain falling through the usual areas of colombia and northern parts of peru and brazil the afternoon downpours and then into the uh, parts of central and north america you can certainly see into north america it does start to dry out and uh, going right into Canada, large areas of dry weather with that warmer southerly coming through. But we've got wet weather over on the eastern half. And before I go, the image of the day today. Well, it's a I like this one. It's from around Greenland and Iceland. And you can just see all these different areas of low pressure swirling around areas of high pressure. There's a small little high in there as well. So just a nice system with all those low pressure and high pressure systems working together. That is all from me. Thank you so much for joining us. For more details, please go to weatherwatch.co.nz for those of you in New Zealand or curious about New Zealand and elsewhere around the world, please use our business partners at weather.com. I will see you again on Wednesday or Tuesday night for those of you in America with our next Global Weather Extremes update.